Zachary asks, have you seen Velma? What are your thoughts? Likewise, Alan asks, have you seen Velma? What did you think? So, the talk of the internet the last week has been Velma, and I actually, I had no interest in checking it out until the reviews came out, and it seems to be the show that's bringing the entire internet together, that everyone thinks that Velma is terrible. And when I saw that, it made me go, all right, now I'm just curious, like, could it possibly be as bad as I'm seeing from everyone everyone thinks thinks this thing is just a total misfire miscalculation that absolutely does not work so last night i decided to check out the first episode you've made a huge mistake and within the first two minutes i pretty quickly realized it absolutely <laughs> lived up to its reputation as the worst tv show in years like it is it is shockingly Bad. I think it has something to do with drugs, which I hate. <laughs> <laughs> like lowbrow crass humor. Like you're you're a minute into it, and there's like cockroaches doing each other as like a little sight gag. Like, <laughs> isn't that funny? Are you serious? That's just a weird thing to put in your show. But the immediate initial dialogue makes it very clear the perspective of the writers and there's just this antagonistic vibe of the way they perceive of everything and there's like this mean-spirited like competitiveness going on right out of the gate that's just off-putting and you're 30 seconds in then we see the cockroach bit and then there's this whole sequence about girls high school girls in the shower and I mean it's just like you're watching it thinking, I cannot believe this got greenlit. I can't believe this was written and nobody said, this is a bad idea. And they're doing this with Scooby-Doo. They're taking this like childhood show that we all grew up with that's been around for over 50 years that, you know, maybe their implications, were they stoners, what, what, all that, like, like implications and things like that. Otherwise, just like harmless fun and turning it into just this crass, raunchy show where the writers of the show like are unbelievably obsessed with everyone's race, gender, sexual orientation. And so every, like, every character is just defined by that and the writer's perspective of that group's position in society. And so it's just like this really odd show where you're like, this is uncomfortable because it's like the writers exposing their nastiest thoughts on the world and how they judge everyone and how put everyone in boxes. It's so peculiar. And like, I don't, I don't ever use the term woke to describe things on my channel. Cause I don't find it to be a remotely useful phrase at all, but this show plays like what the anti woke channels, like a, like if they were to write a parody of their perception of media that's what this looks like, except it's not parody. <laughs> like It's reached a point in time where people are putting things out that have become a parody of themselves, that it's so outrageous, it's so over the top in everything that it's doing, that it, it's the caricature that people that criticize them hold in their brains. They made the, uh, like, the perfect caricature of themselves with this show, and it's like it's it's just cruel at times. No one in the show is remotely likable. Um, everything is just like shock humor of like, look, naked high school girls in the shower. Look, that person's head fell off. Look, that guy's leg got cut off. Look, they're saying really inappropriate things. None of it's clever. All of it thinks it's really clever though. It's like people that think they like really are on the like pulse of things and commenting on this super relevant commentary and all of it just to normal people reads like out of touch Hollywood writers that have never spoken to a normal, haven't spoken to a normal person in 10 years or something like that. So um, if you're, if you want something to hate watch and just be like Marvel at this bizarre thing that is, has this Scooby-Doo skin on it, check out this show, I'm, it, it is like, there, there's a joke in this where Fred 
it, cause he's he's rich, therefore he's stupid, and he's privileged, and he's so privileged because he, he's rich that he doesn't know how to cut his food. I mean, it's like that level of social commentary. Well, rich people are privileged, therefore they're incompetent and stupid. That That's the perspective of this show. That's the complexity of it all. And everything has that kind of like commentary on it. You know, when it talks about origin stories, it's like it's all about some handsome, privileged white man getting more power. That's like I like origin stories. That's your perspective perspective on origin stories. Like I feel like you just insulted me as a person that likes origin stories. Like that, the whole thing plays like that. And so like the one of the greatest misfires I've ever seen. It's already confirmed for a season two. I don't know that it's confirmed. I haven't seen that it's confirmed for a season season two. But they have been heavily promoting that this is the uh, biggest debut for an HBO Max original animated series. Which you might go, oh wow, biggest opening, biggest viewership. That's that's pretty good until you stop and go, they've only put out five of these. Five. So right off the bat you go, okay, best in five isn't that great. And then you go, it's best in five and it's the only one based off of a pre-existing IP. Everything else is something original that you've never heard of before. And so four of these are things that you don't immediately recognize. One of them is Scooby-Doo for adults. So obviously it was going to be number one. But more importantly, no one, everyone's checking this out to hate watch it. I didn't watch this because I watched the trailers and went, that looks really good. I watched it because I wanted to see the car crash. <laughs> I heard it was terrible. I was like, is it really that bad? So I checked it out to see, is it really that bad? And it is. That's what everyone did. They're not going to keep on watching it. So if they renew this thing based off opening day numbers for a show that people hate watched, I think the offensive thing here is that they had a com virtually completed Scooby-Doo movie, a sequel to Scoob that was for families. Had it, it was viewable. They showed it to people and they tossed that out for a tax write-off and they put this out the one that rewrites all the characters claims that it's it's um what's the phrase the show uses the phrase race blind casting when that's not what this is like everything about this was entirely calculated and intentional it's not race blind it's like hyper focused on all of that that is the writer's priority is to lock in on that that's what they chose to do instead of actual real scooby-doo for the whole family they tossed that one out to, to give us this thing you blew it I, i'm not even a big i wasn't a big fan of scoob but like my kids liked it and if that's their version of scooby-doo cool and then instead we get this thing that's designed for i like i don't know writers of shows like this <laughs> i don't know who this is for but it's, it's terrible it, it is unbelievably bad it it is a parody of themselves going so over the top with what they're doing that they are exactly what people are criticizing them for doing to the extent of like i'm watching it like wow i had my issues with she hulk but wow she-Hulk looks like Schindler's List compared to this. Like, wow, this is shockingly bad. Like, it, it, it was written by Mindy Kaling, stars Mindy Kaling, and it's like, oh, now, like, now, the, like, when we watch The Office, we'll be like, she's the person that created Velma. Ah, can't believe Mindy Kaling, who created three successful comedy shows, has an excellent track record and made a show this bad. It's, it's, it's wild. It's bizarre. Like, it is really, really. I, yeah, like you're watching it like I, this would be bad no matter what. How Like you feel like you're you get kind of angry because they put it on Scooby-Doo and you're, how did why are you desecrating Scooby-Doo like this? And like you're you're taking these characters that we like and you're just humiliating them. You're making them narcissists. They're just jerks all of them you're treating like terrible people and it, it's weird because it's like you you wanted to make a scooby-doo show and this is the way you perceive of it or something like that which apparently means you hate these characters and you hate the audience of scooby-doo because why on earth would you treat these characters like this and write them like this in such um in ways that put them in such bad lights and highlight like the worst uh, traits that people have in the 21st century that's what you've given all of them why would you do that? And that's what 
this show is. Like, all of it. it. Every character is just the absolute worst. And everywhere they go with it is just mean-spirited, cruel, base-level shock humor. Nothing about it was redeemable. So, yeah, it's great. You should check it out.